Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on! Brown now, relatively late in the shot clock, spins, floats it up and floats it in. Boy, the Cavs bench is vehemently claiming that that was a walk. We've never seen them since playing back in 2018. Floor, and that's where they get so many threes. Oh, what a highlight! Man, give it up to Robert Williams. What a pass by Horford. He's breaking that down, looking at a fading shot clock. As Garland knocks in the three. Man, he's hot hands. Got a good set feet. Good shot. He'll zigzag his way halfway down the lane. His floater is true. Mitchell now has 34 and is back to a one-point game. Toward Brown, wheels his way down the lane, floats it up, and floats it in. DM, and the crowd goes wild. That's what they do. Donovan Mitchell, what a finish. With it, up ahead to Tatum, to the rim. Smart to see him make the steal. Back to Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown, you can do that? Yes, he does. What a finish. Tatum, step back three. You bet. Jason Tatum, a superstar player. Crowd while favored for the Tatum and Horford, the better veteran teams. They all loved it and they enjoyed it. Lucky luck. Mitchell on the attack, soft tosses it in. If you've never seen this finish, well, that's the biggest part of a drive you ever see. Bring of the game in Boston five nights ago. Mitchell to the basket, draws a foul, puts it up and in, a circuit shot by Donovan Mitchell, and he has a chance for the three-point play. That's what they all do. Donovan Mitchell, a biggest drive effort. Yeah, I've got good eyes on him. They always say, count it and one. That's for him. Cavs, Celtics, next on 2K Sports. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Son of Beast. As right now, we are heading for our next game, and this is game three of the conference, Eastern Conference Finals. We're about to be seeing the next matchup to rematch it again, as right now, if you've already been watching the first and second game of the Stanley Cup playoffs, we'll get you your next and find out how this happens. But this moment, we are just finding out if the Cleveland Cavaliers will have their answers to take away. It's whatever it takes to maintain their way from here. And Boston Celtics, unfinished business is what they are just going to try to do to not quit here. Without Brad Stevens, it's going to be a tough, tough one to keep. Let's find out who will make the next win. Standing by, I will have the next commentary up. It will be a typical one, but the decision making, it's going to be happening once more. I will have Brian Anderson again with the two, along with the 2K Sports crew. And I'll be back with the halftime show and post game show. But standing by with me, I'll have his clover. <laughs> well, let's find out how it is. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy this. It's gonna be a lucky day, so let's find out what happens. Well, you'll get that one on your own and feel great about you. I will. Enjoy, guys, for the third game of the Eastern Conference Finals. We'll be back. See you later. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals. And now, 2K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. 
I'm Brian Anderson, and Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thank you, Brian. Well, the Cavaliers are a team that's getting attention for all the right reasons. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, to see a young team that's so excited to play together, a great style of basketball, and enormous talent. They're constructed the right way. EA, lofty praise from the commissioner. Yeah, fans in high places for sure, Allie. Thanks. And the starting group for the Celtics. Horford and Williams Key together in the front court. Between Brown and Tatum of Robert the Williams and there. Jared Allen. And Smart in at the point. And for the Cavaliers, Okoro at the three with Mobley at the four. Donovan Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Allen in at the five. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. It'll be, it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Here's Smart. Horford outside. Wing Tatum, there's the three. Yes, Jason Tatum for three. To set him up. No second thoughts for Tatum. Just look, like, he's ready. Outside Garland. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Okoro. Now Mitchell. Pocket six. Mitchell. Six. Is it just enough to sink the shot? Smart outside, down low. Williams. Robert Williams. Right to the rim. Jared Allen is first forced to go foul. First team foul. At the line for his best Olympics. Robert Williams. Shooting one. Take the onus on himself to make something happen. 
got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Back to Smart. To the lane, right side. Horford, right side. And here's Brown for three. Good. Yeah, then Brown for three. three. The assist. Three. A consistent shot for him. Brown likes the three. Outside Garland. to Okoro. Back to Garland. Now here's Mitchell. Defended by Brown. try to offend it. They really want to make sure they get this one right across. They really are trying to make sure they get this one right into a toughness on the rebound. The skills, it might be a tough way to get over, but it may not be that hard to go right from inbounding if they want to get it done. It's tough, then you fail. Yeah, it's a completely new group for the Cavaliers. Some changes for Boston. Your substitution. For the Cavaliers, Ricky Rubio, Danny Green, Harris LeBert, C.D. Osmond, and David Wade. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Ricky Rubio. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first. Outside White. Rockton against LeBert. Rockton drives in. Can't hit from in close. The Cavs have gone five of six. They're rolling. White against Rubio. Pass to Wade. Levert with the ball. Here's Wade. Just five on the clock. Three for three. Personal foul, second team foul. So I'm looking for something. Blair Williams, the line, shooting one. It may not be the 
pressure thing, I was just looking at it. Ren Williams made that shot in Canada. The bucket and one, that's for Ren.
Martin with the ball. Let's it go from deep. That's the Probably three. Smith for three. Now just a five point Cleveland lead. Not just being selfish, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. It's stolen by Smart. Inside. Aaron Brown. This is why Robbie Smart. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. The Cavaliers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Garland, pass to Allen. Back to Garland. Coro on the wing. To the inside. Outside for Mitchell. Fires the three. On serve. He's now three for five in this one. Boston's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And Boston's on to the second quarter. Eastern Conference Finals of the 2K Sports is brought to you by Adidas. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. In just a few moments, we will have a halftime show, ready to be on its way. And Mark, right now me and Clover will be standing by here for the halftime show. So after the first half's over, we'll send you in to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. I'll see, see you all later as soon as it's over. Back to you, Brian. Substitution here for Boston. Williams has checked in for Williams. Hauser comes in for Tatum. Brogdon's checked in for Brown. And it's White in for Smart. Now here's LeBert. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Shot clock at five. Two minutes. LeBert! Cavaliers lead by three. Two minutes rain. The second battery of the game. Two minutes. Here's 
Boston foul. Number nine, Derek White. He's first for a slow top. First team fight. Line for the Cavaliers, Ricky Rubio. Line for two. Two shots. <laughs> free, free, free. Don't want to give that one a call. And that's good as he hits both shots. And here's Boston. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Pass to Horford. Free check it by Allen. Allen with the range. People need to block shots anywhere. Al Horford. And Horford gets it to go. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. That's the end of the first half of the period. The, 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 the Boston Celtics, 29. The Cleveland Cavaliers, 28. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That's right, I'm Ian Clever, stand by for the first half of the game. Cavs and Celtics. It is a close game in between the Cavaliers, as right now they have a lead up again. But I had a moment, they were up and around each other, and then the Celtics were up by one. Let's have your start with a take for you, Clover, for the Celtics, your lucky team. Well, <laughs> you can always count that. You always count the bucket in this drive. I mean, this is really not a competition. They were at the wall. Because they were really that authentic. I guess there might be a one way that can try to do it for all around. There might be one way to get done. Let's have your take for the cats here, the beast. What's your take? Well, there might be one way they can try to figure that one out. Both guys have steals, both guy blocks, both, both have rebounds. They only, only want to change off in between the assistants. We're trying to find out if there's one way if we can get this thing done. Hopefully on that one, we'll get it done. And that'll wrap it up for the halftime show. And we'll keep flip you on the flip side. Brian Anderson back to the Track Mortgage Fieldhouse. See you all later. For the post-game show. And as we get into the third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be the go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. A lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell, and it's Okoro in at the small forward position. That's the five from Cleveland right now. Now here's Mitchell. To the middle. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Tatum. Boston has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Good D by Mobley. The Cavs trailing. And stolen by Williams. It's Brown on the wing. Count that bucket. Yeah, Brown. Brown's got nine. And an annual ritual. Players finding out their ratings in NBA 2K. You were customarily happy with your rating, yes? I didn't really care, but a part of my conditioning for 2K is they said they were retroactively change my rating to uh, the first point. You deserve that. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second 
half is underway. They get the rebound. Williams passes to Tatum. Goes up again. Next up. Williams shot. Robert Williams. Williams. Williams has gotten his second. Time out, Cleveland. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. What imagines that might be discussed? <laughs> Determination. If you already have your tickets out here for the BFDI and the Anime Sandy experience, then it's time to make yours. And next stop, the first stop of yours will be LA for the Sabian Media Center. And then the second stop for this year is at Gerald W. Lynch Theater in New York. There's one word. If you have your tickets down, plan your time ahead because it won't be long until it's crowded. Until you may be the only first one person to get a plushie. But hopefully in that case, you'll enjoy it and have fun. Now let's get back to Brian. And we'll have more info after this. called here out of bounds. But the bad news is Evan Mobley had re refuses and he rejected it. He didn't get it right. He's supposed to wait. If he goes right behind the net, right toward the backboard, then he's out of bounds. There's a position change for the Celtics. Number 57, Mike Buscala. Devin Dewey. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. 
Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. And Danny, three. Substitution on the court, Derek White and Greg Williams. New substitution for the Cavaliers. Harris, LeBert. happening here at Sabia Media Center. Join with your creators as we always have that one. A good seven autograph. And also they will have some a little discussion here with the live Q&A and then screening to show you the BFDI TPOT experience along with the season three of the Anime Insanity of the Invitational. It's going to be pretty exciting you guys. Everybody's going to be really enjoying it. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you to go check it out on the Animation Epics webpage channel right around here, called Retirement Epic. Just go ahead and check that one out. You're going to love that one. And as we're being said right now, make your, make your comment selection below for your new NHL 24 before before September arrives, and that will be the end of the, that will be the beginning of the month, and the connotation with this one will be over. So make your selections, and you still have time to use it. So back to you, Brian. Osmond comes in for Wade, and Rubio is subbed in for Darius Garland. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. Brogdon comes in for Pritchard. Here's Hauser, looking for his first basket still in this one. Back to White. The teardrop, and he's Eric White. on the layup. And the Celtics lead by nine. Making the floor look this smooth is not as easy as it looked. It's a challenge. City! Nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. Pass to White. Here's Hauser. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. And here's Brown for three. Brown's got 
13. You see the confidence building in Brown offensively. First, it was taken over stretches. Now, it's taken over the game. Mobley outside. Boston foul, six stop. Grant Williams, his first person. First team foul. At the line for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Evan Mobley. Two, two shots. He's got all the physical gifts that a power forward could ask for. And he can't hit the second. And here's Brockton. That's the end of the first quarter. Put it on top of it. It's 41. Boston Celtics, 46. Well, we're under, we're now heading to the fourth quarter, so be right back after this. You're watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals of 2K Sports. Be back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure back basketball. Take a look at the Celtics. David Warford at the forward slot. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Muscala in at the center, locking down the middle. Out to the right wing. Warford against Mobley. Warford can't hit. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. They get it back. Especially good at getting ideal positioning on that glass. To the inside, here's Muscala. Mike Muscala. He'll have a chance to the three point. Cleveland foul, Jared out. A second personal foul. Pro scene foul. And line for the Boston Celtics. Mike Muscala. Security one. The second two change for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Checked in for Boston. Edmund, wait! Marcus Smart, his first personal foul, second team foul. 
on mere stats, Mitchell Green At the line for the Cavaliers. His energy Number 45. At the line for your Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell. The line for the Cavaliers. Two shots. for the Boston Celtics, Robert Williams. seen uh, Wade making the free throws at this point, but now he's doing it just now. And he knocks down the first one. Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back to you, Brian. Oh, the Cavaliers making a switch here. Nobody's checked in. Moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Jamie Bigger staff had some words for his team over the break. He told the squad, run when you have the chance. You can't score all of our points in the half court. Push the rock. Let's see if they listen to coach. Back to you. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Now here's Smart. Horford outside. Launches it. Al Horford for three. Try. You see the great fundamentals. Horford 
sets up with a quick shot off the feed. No hesitation. Pass to Okoro. Fires from the heat. Free! Isaac! Okoro! His first point to the game on the deep ball. Smart outside. Near the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. The ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Mobley. Left side, Mitchell. Diamond Mitchell! Celtics. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. Okay, I'm going to take you guys inside the huddle, all right? The message from Coach is simple. Stop. Hey, I'm going to tell you this one here. This is tough, but no one has ever seen it. If you're just looking at like Miami Heat does, they don't really just done that respect. They want to stop the AFC. It looks like... The Celtics have already won game five in a real game. They never really want to get off of this one. But then, it looks like the Celtics may have been, it could have been a hard team to try to like take them out. The Cavaliers are trying to answer back. They want to get it done. Well, I'm not sure this will ever happen. I don't think this will make the choice up to have it too many ways. But I don't think it may not be another way to try to like stick them up again. They really wanted to do this. It's all hard. Now we close this off for our New Balance player of the game. Brian, who do you have? Marcus Smart. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rest of Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Here's Smart. That's the team. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period. Two minutes.
left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. And they'll probably try for a two, but if someone opens up outside, I doubt that they will have to take Stay tuned for tomorrow night's game as we will have the next matchup to be coming in right at Crypto.com Arena. As of right now, standing by on the other side, we have is Kevin Arlen, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Barry. David Aldridge will be reporting here at Crypto.com Arena in LA. That will be the next game to face against the Nuggets for the same team. As right now, they got the extension up by 2 and 0. Oh, the same thing that goes with the Celtics on the other hand. But there, but there might be a choice in between of what's going to be happening in between. That will be happening at, at 8.30 p.m. Now the time will be rescheduled and in the Pacific and in Pacific Standard Time will be 5.30. So make sure you mark it down your calendars. It's right now you have it on a reminder and you'll get a notification that the video will be starting soon. Now let's get back in the action. Brian, finish it off. The second force still foul. The 13th foul. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. Just One more foul to give. And they go to the second stop. Marvel Cooper Williams. The second force still foul. The whole team foul. Along with the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell. Two, Two shots. here for game three as right now the total statistics are on the line. What a fantastic to put a win here for Cleveland since 2018 was whatever it takes to take run the land and they always need to go with one word to another unfinished business to do one way to another. Here's how they did with the total statistics for game three. Field goals with 46 for Boston. 38 three-pointers for Cleveland, also with free throws of 92%. Fast break points was 9, 36 points in the paint, and second chance points for 8 for Boston. Then it's 29, 21 bench points for Cleveland Cavs. Then assist was 17 for Cavs also. 11 offensive rebounds for Boston and 18 defensive rebounds for Cleveland. They also had two steals evened up. Two blocks were remained for Cleveland Cavs. They did one and the other. Two turnovers and four points off were even for the Celtics and the Cavs. Nobody had that one in the lead. Yeah, they're really good. Keep it up on that way. I know what you're looking for. Team fouls were six for Cleveland. Then four dunks for Boston. Biggest lead was ten. Both teams were tied and even. And time possession was 12.35 for Cleveland. Now it's time for three star players of the game. 
Let's start with you, Clover. All right, thank you so much. I really always appreciate it. Thanks for letting me go first, especially not a lucky day. I know. We'll be back again very soon. I promise, I promise it will happen again. But don't be surprised with you. You'll have it on your own. All right. Let's start off with one of the biggest ones. Al Horford. 11 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. He only made that one block. And I had 2 dunks down. 17 performance run was a knockoff hit. One three-pointer was made. Now for 2. For you, son of beast. You take from here. All right, number two, I will give it off to one of us suggest to Jalen Brown. He had 13 points, two assists, and 18 performance run. Only 6.9 field goals percentage. One out of three, three pointers. They're not really just trying to like keep him over it, but I I never know what Jalen Brown was gonna ever do because without the face mask, he really has to be out un, untouched because right now this instant there's no way to cover it. And now for your number one. All right, I guess that's going to be Donovan Mitchell for sure. 19 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. I think Cleveland knows him. They want him, they want to show him off. 6 out of 10 field goals, just 1 out of 4 out of 3 pointers. 6 out of 6 for the free throws, it's perfect for him. But 1 dunk and 21 performance run, that was it. That's what Cleveland knows is real. They'll be back in game 4, and at this point... When, after the game three is complete, we will send you down back to Cleveland for another game. Well, that's it for right now. This has been a presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Thank you all for watching, and peace out for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. Have a wonderful evening, and stay tuned for tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Me and Clover are out. Have a lucky day. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.